It's the worst of the CBC for October 29th, 2019, the show where I watch the CBC so you don't have to. Okay, first of all, this episode is dedicated to everyone who donated the Patreon so far. We're 20% of the way to the goal of $1,000 a month, which would let me do this full time and not have to worry about, uh, you know, getting fired from wherever. So, I... It was a power in politics I was watching. I usually watch the standard news, but I just don't have time for that today. And I just came off of watching Patrick Brown on power in politics. And if you don't know me, the first thing you should know about me is I hate two things. One, CBC News. Two, Patrick Brown. I hate him. Who is he? He's Diet Kathleen Wynne. He was the man who was going to run as the progressive conservative, big obnoxious air quotes there, to replace Kathleen Wynne. He's a liberal. He's everything I hate about the conservative party. This is like the provincial version of Michael Chong, if you remember him. He's pro-carbon tax. He's pro-equity. He's in bed with the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, right now, he's controlled by the Kalistanis. So, like, if I want to listen to a Kalistani proxy, we just might as well bring Jagmeet Singh on TV to tell us what the Conservative Party should do, because it's the exact same person. There is no difference between Patrick Brown and Jagmeet Singh on really any issue whatsoever. Like, maybe a tax cut here or there, but really, ideologically, it's the same nonsense. So Patrick Brown came on to say, oh, the Conservatives need to adopt a carbon tax. And use it all, like, he's such a liberal. We have to put a price on pollution. We have to march in the pride parades. You know, Conservatives are anti-choice because like, like, like the, god damn this guy can someone just shove him through a wall and, and it's, we have to talk about equity the conservative party needs equity this is why we're using commie nonsense language like I understand equality but the fact that he's even using the phrase equity which which is always used as equity of outcome like everyone at the exact same level right equality is the same, equality of opportunity equity is equality of outcome so why is he even using the term equity it just drives me up a wall i was so happy the day he was kicked out of the party because he was such a goddamn coward he was all listen if you talk to patrick brown his people are always like we conservatives can't have principles or else the cbc will be mad at us can't have principles gotta be our cowards and then the day that he got me too was one of the funniest and best days of my life. There was literally a girl who was like, when I was 19, I kissed Patrick Brown. And then two weeks later, I didn't like it. He's a rapist. And Patrick Brown and was like, Patrick Brown's a monster. And then everyone abandoned him because his team was all cowards at that point. And I laughed maniacally. I wasn't going to vote for him. I wasn't going to vote conservative in the election to get out Kathleen Wynn because Patrick Brown was an existential threat to the party. And that fuck was on, on CBC lecturing the conservative party on why they're not allowed to do anything conservative and why they just have to be the liberals in the NDP. Deport him. Someone deport Patrick Brown right now. Okay. The worst story of the day, Patrick Brown rant aside. <laughs> what? I hate you, Patrick Brown. You just go away. They covered Western alienation, and the conservative woman actually did a really good job, and everyone else was lying. Everyone else was lying. Everyone else was slandering Jason Kenney, and, and, she, was, and she did a great job of actually telling the truth, so I, I thought that you actually did get the truth if you, if you listened because they brought on one conservative person, but, um, you know, they, they tried to blame Kenney for, for Western alienation, which is so ridiculous, and they said, oh, because Jason Kenney's bringing up equalization in, in, in government, and this is what it's doing. You know, he's trying to blame, uh, you know, the rest of Canada. It's like, well, of course he's going to bring up equalization in Alberta because they don't get any of it and they pay billions. And she brought up the point that, you know, Quebec receives tens of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars in equalization, never pays any out, is currently running a surplus. And when Alberta is running a deficit and in trouble, they still have to pay the billions in its equalization. And the, the funniest things were uh, there is an NDP woman who suggested the reason why Alberta uh, is in financial trouble is because they don't have a sales tax. NDP in the French talking about no sales tax and that's why they conservative in Alberta. That is why their problem is no sales tax. Okay. And then the liberal guy, his his, his assertion was, uh, yes, uh, 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 Western alienation is real, but I just feel like uh, they're taking it out on the wrong people. Okay, if it's real, then why is it valid? And who's the right people? Who's the right people? Right? Oh, yeah, it's valid, but they're just wrong about everything. They might have a point, they're just wrong about everything. And then he, he lied about Kenny, and then, but the conservative did a good job of doing it. Basically, Patrick Brown exists, be angry, the CBC, and like when she was telling the truth, Vash Capellas was like, Grr! and all the liberal, like, Grr! but uh, so that was nice to watch. Now, what is the biggest omission of the day? The biggest omission is they are not covering the biggest story in all of Canada and probably the world right now, which is the fact that yours truly has been deplatformed from a random talk he was going to give on December 10th at Beth Tikva Synagogue. How, I checked BBC, I checked CBC, even Al Jazeera didn't have it. And listen, the reason I was canceled is because the Muslim Brotherhood saw one of the videos and they didn't like it. Apparently, 
saying that a man connected to the Muslim Brotherhood is connected to the Muslim Brotherhood did not go well with the Muslim Brotherhood and all their foolish lefty interfaith morons who monitored the Jewish community for morals. Uh, they didn't like it. Either. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that on, on, on tomorrow's episode. I'll go all into that. I got some emails to show you. It's going to be a fun time. Don't worry. The talk's already been rescheduled for December 8th. There'll be a, an event page posted on the Facebook page tomorrow. Uh, so if you want on December 8th, that's a Sunday, December 8th, uh, there'll be an event in Toronto where I'm going to give the talk um, basically on media malpractice and obstacles towards freedom. Uh, I was going to focus on ca how Kashmir and and uh, Israel, uh, how, how they, the very similarities in these issues and how the media goes about it, just to show that the reason why the media is anti-Israel isn't because like they're anti-Semitic or just anti-Israel. There's a much deeper ideology behind media malpractice and leftism that then takes itself out on Jews, not because it's anti-Semitic, but because that's just where left-wing totalitarianism goes. So this talk is great for anyone interested in Israel or Kashmir, but also if you're interested in Canadian uh, politics and Canadian issues and why the radical left and the media are the way they are, um, I, this talk is, is not, and the good news is I don't have to get this talk to a bunch of like, uh, old retired Jews anymore. So we're going to do this public tag TV's going to run it. We have some sponsors. It's going to be great. And again, I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who's donated to Patreon, um, because this is really shown. And again, it, it's, uh, these major organizations and I wasn't going to like, if the people in the conservative party might've wanted to work with me kind of shows it, 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 that I did do the right thing by not working and not not pursuing the uh, the more mainstream options, the more high money uh, potential job. Uh, because if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to bring up issues like the fact that the guy who who was who claimed to be part of the Dan Four shooters inner circle and then wrote the family statement, if I can't expose him for the type of pathological liar he is and his connections, well, then it's not really worth doing. So thank you to everyone who donated to the Patreon because you make it or you make it able for me to have a platform where we can actually talk about the issues that Canadians want to talk about, which is, was it Danforth Shooter's brother caught with enough chemical weapons to kill everyone in Canada 10 times over? He was. Why is no one talking about that? I did. So thanks so much. And if you want to support the show, you can click on the Patreon link. Um, within the next couple of days, I've just been so busy. Uh, I'll, I'll have a single, uh, it's just a one-time donation set up. I just, I'm having some trouble with PayPal right now. Um, so... Thank you so much for your support. Oh, and what did what did today get on the Rosemary Barton scale? Um, Patrick Brown's. It, it broke the Rosemary Barton's because I saw Patrick Brown. It gets a Patrick Brown on the Rosemary Barton scale. And I hate, nothing I hate more than Patrick Brown. So on the Rosemary Barton, it gets one whole, uh, Patrick Brown's face. Patrick Brown's stupid face on the Rosemary Barton scale. God, Patrick Brown. We should all just be the liberal party and have a, a carbon tax for equity. And we should, you know, tax not being, we should tax heterosexuality and give it to the Muslim Brotherhood. Goddamn. Oh, one day we're Patrick Brown. Ugh.